You're listening to Sploosh, a podcast about Singapore poetry, literature, and other obsessions worth showing. Today, Sarah, Joven, and Haoyang will be bringing you a dramatic reading of Macbeth by William Shakespeare. Act 3, Scene 4 Forest, the palace Banquet prepared Enter Macbeth Lady Macbeth, Ross, Lennox, Lords, and attendants. You know your own degrees. Sit down. First and last, a hearty welcome. Thanks, dear majesty. Ourself will mingle with society and play the humble host. Our hostess keeps the state, but in best time we will require her welcome. Pronounce it for me, sir, to all our friends. For my heart speaks they are welcome. Enter first murderer to the door. See? They encounter thee with their heart's thanks. Both sides are even. Here I'll sit in the midst. Be large in mirth. Anon will drink a measure the table round. Going to the door. There's blood upon thy face. Tis Banco's then. Tis better thee without than he within. Is he dispatched? My lord, his throat is cut. That I did for him. Thou art the best of the cutthroats. Yet he's good that did the like for fleance. If thou didst it, thou art the non pariah Most royal, sir, Fleance escaped. Then comes my fit again. I had else been perfect, whole as the marble, founded as the rock, as broad and general as the casing air. But now I am cabined, crypt, confined, bound into saucy doubts and fears. But Banquo's safe. Aye, my good lord. Safe in a ditch he bides, with twenty trenched gashes on his head, the least a death to nature. Thanks for that. There the grown serpent lies. The worm that's fled hath nature that in time will venom breed. No teeth for the present. Get thee gone. Tomorrow we'll hear ourselves again. Exit, murderer. My royal lord, you do not give the cheer. The feast is sold, that is not often vouched. While tis a making, tis given with welcome. To feed were best at home. From thence the sauce to meet is ceremony. Meeting were bare without it. Enter the ghost of Banquo, and sits in Macbeth's place. Sweet remembrance, sir. Now, good digestion wait on appetite, and health on both. May it please your highness sit. Here had we now our country's honour roofed. With a graced person of our Banquo present, who may I rather challenge for unkindness than pity for mischance? His absence, sir, lays blame upon his promise. Please, your highness, to grace us with your royal company. The table's full. Here's a place reserved, sir. Where? Here, my good lord. What is it that moves your highness? Which of you have done this? What, my good lord? Thou canst not say that I did it. Never shake thy gory locks at me. Gentlemen, rise. His Highness is not well. Sit, worthy friends. My lord is often thus, and hath been from his youth. Pray you, keep seat. The fit is momentary. Upon a thought, he will be well again. If much you note him, you shall offend him and extend his passion. Feed, and regard him not. Are you a man? Aye, and a bold one. There look on that which might appall the devil. Oh, proper stuff, this is the very painting of your fear. This is the air-drawn dagger which, you said, led you to Duncan. Oh, these flaws and starts, impostors to true fear, would well become a woman's story at a winter's fire, authorized by her grandam. Shame itself! Why do you make such faces? When all's done, you look but on a stool. Pretty! See that! Behold! Look! Lo! How, how say you? Why, why, what care I? If thou canst not, speak to. If charnel houses and our graves must send those that we bury back, our monument shall be the moors of kites. Exit ghost. What? Quite unmanned in folly. If I stand here, I saw him. Fie! For shame! Blood hath been shed here now. In the olden time, here you main statute perched a gentle wheel. Aye. And since two murders have been performed too terrible for the year, the time has been that when the brains were out, the man would die, and there an end. But now they rise again with 
20 mortal murders on their crowns and push us from our stools. This is more strange than such a murder is. My worthy lord, your noble friends do lack you. I do forget. Do not muse at me, my most worthy friends. I have a strange infirmity, which is nothing to those that know me. Come, love and health to all, and then I'll sit down. Give me some wine, feel full. Enter ghost. I drink to the general joy of the whole table, and to our dear friend Manko, whom we miss what he were here. To all, and him, we thirst, and all to all. Our duties, and the pledge. Avaunt, and quit my sight. Let the earth hide thee. Thy bones are marrowless, thy blood is cold. There is no speculation in those eyes which thou dost glare with. Think of this, good peers, but as a thing of custom. Tis no other, only it spoils the pleasure of the time. What man dare? I dare approach thou like the rugged Russian bear, the armed rhinoceros or the hurricane tiger. Take any shape but that, and my firm nerves shall never tremble, or be alive again, and dare me to the desert with thy sword. If trembling I inhabit then, protest me the baby of a girl. Hence, horrible shadow! Unreal mockery, hence! Exit ghost. Why so? Being gone, I am a man again. Pray you sit still. You've displaced the mirth, broke the good meeting with most admired disorder. Can such things be, and overcome us like a summer's cloud without our special wonder? You make me strange, even to the disposition that I owe when now I think you can behold such sights and keep the natural ruby of your cheeks when mine are blanched with fear. What sights, my lord? I pray you, speak not. He grows worse and worse. Question enrages him. At once, good night. Stand not upon the order of your going, but go at once. Good night, and better health attend his majesty. A kind good night to all. Excellent lords and attendants. It will have blood, they say. Blood will have blood. Stones have been known to move and trees to speak. Augurs and understood relations have by maggot pies and trows and rooks brought forth the secretest man of blood. What is the night? Almost at odds with morning, which is which. How sayest thou that Macduff denies this person at our great bidding? Did you send to him, sir? I hear it, by the way, but I will send. There's not a one of them, but in this house I keep a servant feed. I will tomorrow, and be times I will, to the weird sisters. More shall they speak. For now I am bent to know by the worst means the worst. For mine own good all causes shall give way. I am in blood stepped in so far that should I wait no more, returning were as tedious as go over. With strange things I have in head that will to hand, which must be apt to dare they may be scanned. You lack the season of all natures. Sleep. Come, will to sleep. My strange and self-abuse is the initiate fear that wants hard use. We are yet but young indeed.